The universe is a vast and mysterious place, and scientists have been studying its expansion for decades. But recent observations of an exploding star have raised new questions and challenged our current understanding of the universe's growth. The universe's expansion is the rate at which the space between galaxies is getting larger. It's an essential concept in cosmology and helps us understand the evolution of the universe. The expansion of the universe was first discovered in 1929 by the astronomer Edwin Hubble, who observed that galaxies were moving away from each other, and the farther they were from each other, the faster they were moving. This observation led to the development of the Hubble constant, which describes the rate of expansion of the universe. Over the years, scientists have made several measurements of the Hubble constant using different methods and have come up with different values. In recent years, the measurements have become more precise, and the current best estimate of the Hubble constant is around 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This means that for every megaparsec, 3.26 million light years of distance between galaxies, the speed of separation increases by 73 kilometers per second. Using this gravitational lensing technique, we were able to measure the expansion rate of the universe with unprecedented precision. By analyzing the time delays between the arrival of each appearance of the supernova, we were able to calculate the expansion rate of the universe at the time the light left the supernova. This allowed us to make an independent measurement of the Hubble constant, which describes the expansion rate of the universe. Our measurement is consistent with previous measurements of the Hubble constant using other techniques, but it has a significantly smaller margin of error. This means that our method is a valuable addition to the toolkit of astronomers studying the universe's expansion. By studying lensed supernovae like Refstel, we can continue to refine our understanding of the universe's expansion and gain new insights into the mysterious forces driving it. This is an exciting time for cosmology, and we look forward to seeing what new discoveries await Wait us in the future. However, a recent observation of a type of supernova called a type IA supernova, which is used as a standard candle to measure distances in the universe, has thrown a wrench into our understanding of the universe's expansion. In 2016, a team of astronomers used the Hubble Space Telescope to observe a type IA supernova in a galaxy about 70 million light years away. They used the supernova's light to measure its distance from Earth and found that the galaxy was receding from us at a rate of about 73.3 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This measurement was significant because it was higher than the current best estimate of the Hubble constant, which was around 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec at the time. This discrepancy is known as the Hubble tension and has been a subject of intense debate among cosmologists. Several explanations have been proposed to explain the Hubble tension, including errors in the measurement techniques, systematic errors in the data, or new physics physics that we don't yet understand. Some researchers have suggested that the universe might be expanding faster than we thought in the early universe, and this could account for the discrepancy. However, more recent observations of other type IA supernovae have only added to the confusion. In 2020, a team of researchers used a different method to measure the distance to a type IA supernova in a galaxy about 160 million light years away and found that the galaxy was receding from us at a rate of about 69.8 kilometers per second per megahertz parsec, which is closer to the current best estimate of the Hubble constant. These conflicting observations raise new questions about the universe's expansion and challenge our current understanding. It's possible that the Hubble tension is the result of errors or systematic biases in the measurements, or it could be an indication that we need to revise our current models of the universe's expansion. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative and interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more mind blowing content like this. Your support means a lot to us and it motivates us to keep creating more amazing videos for you. So, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well to stay updated on our latest uploads. Thank you again for your time and we'll see you in the next video.